Howdy guys, Yimmy here. Got a brand new video for you today. Uh, I just wanted to say, if you guys saw my last unboxing, I have returned the Zephyrus G14. It was a great computer. Um, I mean, just the processor, the 4900HS, uh, in that small 14 inch form factor. It, it just fit too much power into a little package. It was amazing. I think definitely think it's the razor blade stealth killer. Um, I think one of the things that affects it the most is that it had no thunderbolt for wanting to connect an external GPU. Like at least the razor blade stealth gives you that power. But in terms of actually gaming on it, it's better to game on the G14 instead of a razor blade stealth. Um, but the reasons for which I returned it, uh, I had two big issues. Uh, first issue was that the the fan was way too loud and along with the fan being too loud the uh, computer on the top was overheating and it projected it towards the screen so i just you know just not a fan and i i had uh, worries about like maybe in the long term um probably not good for the screen i'm not i mean i don't know it's just gets too hot and the fan noise was way too loud but the most important reason why I returned it was because the um, I noticed that when I played Warzone, the response time from my mouse, even though it's 120 hertz, it's it seemed a little like not smooth. <laughs> um, I know when you you guys, if you ever play competitively Fortnite, Warzone, any battle royale where you need every little split second decision, um, it's it's not a fast response time panel. So even though it's 120 hertz refresh rate, um, I looked more into it. Apparently the response time ranges from 17 to 21 seconds, uh, 21 milliseconds. So uh, most gaming laptops, I've had the Razer Blade Advance before. I think that either goes between five to three milliseconds uh, or three to five milliseconds, depending on the panel and if you get the Advance versus the base. So when you go from something like that to a 17 to 21 millisecond, it's four times as slow. Uh, I mean, it's still, you could still get a good experience in it, but just that was the killer, I think, to me, the fact that you're getting really slow response time, the refresh rate, 120 hertz, it's fine. Just that response time really killed it for me, and I just did not want to keep it. Um, so me being someone that buys stuff and returns stuff, I wanted to find something else that's gonna be more competitive. And I went out and bought <clears throat> one of the new uh, GS66 from MSI. This is the MSI GS66 Stealth. It is. It has been updated. This has the 10th Gen 10750 six core 12 thread uh, Intel processor. It is uh, 2.6 to turbo boost to 5 gigahertz on the processor. Um, six cores, 12 threads, like I said. This is also with the RTX 2070. It does not have the super model that you're getting into a higher tier with MSI. This one was the um, 1799, so 1800 from Best Buy. I'll put the link in, in the description the link to this bad boy that I got but the reason I got it was because it's the 10th gen the body or the, the, the actual chassis of the, of the laptop has been updated um, it has per key RGB it has a 240 Hertz three millisecond response time panels and color accuracy is good so obviously the I guess the best thing about this computer is the actual, the panel. So for competitive gaming, it's gonna come in clutch. Um, it's got one terabyte of NVMe SSD storage um, and 16 gigs of RAM. So let's go ahead and unbox it. I just wanna do a quick unboxing for you guys. If you guys have any questions about this computer, let me know. Um, this model is, like I said, the 10SF from GS60, uh, the, the MSI GS66. Um, there's many variations to this computer. Um, this is one that, for me, budget to my what my budget was to what 
you know, the performance that I was looking for. If you go for a razor blade at this same price, you're gonna get a 10, uh, 2060 with 144 hertz and less storage. You might, you'll get 512. So I think razor, obviously, razor's the, you know, the high end, highest tier of pricing, you know, the most premium priced stuff and sometimes it's not even the best. I've owned the last year 2019 Razor Blade Stealth and for me uh, Razor Blade Advanced and for me it was great but I think it's just way too overpriced so I'm very excited to you know get on this GS66 that is premium belt. They went to the all black color and it's gonna it looks a lot more premium so let's go ahead and look into this. RTX 2070, 240 hertz IPS level, IPS. So that is very important. It's an LG uh, patented stuff. So a lot, of, a lot of panels can't be called IPS, not because they don't have the technology, but because they don't want to pay LG for the copyright to that patent. So in order to use IPS in their name, you have to pay LG. And sometimes to save money, people don't pay that and just don't call it an IPS. But this one is IPS, so it's good technology. Guys, this is about to be a beautiful, I'm, I'm nervous because this looks premium. This looks premium. Let's go ahead and open it. Lift up. Okay, got the lid off. Got some stickers, boom, boom. It's a stop, we're here to help. Uh, okay, this is my first ever MSI gaming laptop that I have purchased. Um, there's nothing else in there. There's, I think, an instruction manual here. I like that it comes in plastic, but it also comes in this little cloth, um, you know, sleeve. I think I'll use this sleeve just to throw it in there because I like taking care of my things, so I'm probably going to rock it in here whenever I'm not playing. I'll just throw it in there. It's a nice little MSI badged sleeve. Um, wow, this is really nice. So let me just go ahead and peel this sticker off. Wow. So I heard this is a, a finger magnet. Um, I don't know how true that is that it's a finger magnet, but this thing does look very, very sleek, all black. To see the logo, you gotta get the right light on there. Um, I think it looks very nice. It's very nice, well-built, feels very premium. A lot of people complain about this plastic that they put here. Um, to me, it doesn't look bad at the moment. I mean, it's not really, I, don't, I couldn't tell that this is plastic by looking at it, that's one of the, um, from the videos that I saw from Dave2D or um, Jer Jared's Tech. Um, I know they talked about that, but let's go ahead and open it. Let's see if it passes the one hand test. Beautiful. And I got a cleaning rag, just to clean the panel, whatever. Very beautiful MSI, very nice. Steel series right here. Uh, oh, I forgot that MSI has a good partnership with SteelSeries, so that's one thing to look into if you want to get a gaming house, gaming headset, maybe just get SteelSeries since they have a good partnership with them, or if you guys have a, a specific taste for brands. Um, so I'll show you guys the badging on here. This is 10th gen, you can see at the bottom, 10th gen RTX right here. Um, and then it does have the 240 hertz ultra fast display, steel series RGB. Oh, it has the specs on here too. Oh, very nice. Okay, Thunderbolt. So it is Thunderbolt. That was my one of my questions that I didn't know, but there is Thunderbolt on here. That is very good to know. Um, let's go ahead over the ports. So these are just exhaust. There's a power, power, and Thunderbolt HDMI and USB-A on this side. The trackpad, nice and big. I heard it's glass, feels nice at the moment. Turn it to the other side. You get two more USB-A's, 
another USB-C, not Thunderbolt, headphone jack, and Ethernet, which is great if you want to get the best prioritized internet in your household. You can just connect that puppy to the Ethernet and you'd be set. There's a camera and it does have Windows Hello, so it could remember your face, unlock on demand when it sees your face. Let's go ahead and power this bad boy up. Do not charge from the factory. Wow. This is rough. I'm gonna have to let it charge because it doesn't come charge. It doesn't come with any battery. What the heck? What the heck is this? And you know, actually what I did want to say is that this is a 99.9 .9 watt battery. So they took this to the to the to the highest level, uh, to the highest legal battery set, uh, battery that you could put in any computer. So I heard good things about the battery for the size of it. You know, 99 watt 99.9 .9 watt is bigger than the than the 16 inch macbook pro's battery which they went to the max level that you could legally take on an airplane so they took this up by a 0.9 um so they literally just took it to the to, to, to the edge um so i'm interested to see how long the battery life's going to last on this obviously it doesn't matter when you got it plugged in for gaming because you you don't run on battery power when you're gaming but you know for browsing if you want to do something in bed um keyboard though feels very nice very stiff you know they got the right amount of bounce back good travel and they're not mushy beautiful but actually before i put it to charge and start it up let's go ahead and look at the power brick because looking at the power brick is important to know what additional um, what additional size and you know how big is the stuff you got to carry with it so let's see you open it up, you got the actual cable that goes to the wall. And the power brick, a lot of people care about this because you want to know how much extra heft, heft you want to have to carry around. So let's see. Um, if I can hit it out. Oh, so this, this bad boy is not not crazy but the one on the g14 was a little bit smaller but this is a 230 watt though so this is going to be a thicker boy yep 230 watt so it's nice and thick um compared to my phone i don't have it on me i'm sure it's going to be a little bit bigger this thing's it is heavy so yeah nothing else came in here this came separately though i was just holding this and this nothing too crazy guys so all right let's let it uh Juice, juice it up, juicing up, and we will start our up so you guys can see how cool it looks. All right, guys, it's been getting some juice. We got it plugged in. Again, here it is. Nice little towel that I said to cleaning, clean the wipe the screen. Apologize about the mess in the background. Um. So yeah, let's uh, let's go to power. If it powers, God forbid it comes defective. So I'm holding my recording device here, as you can see. Maybe we could do a a uh, screen bleed test. I'll turn off the lights in here, and we'll see how the how the light shines through the panel. But it looks like it's gonna be down here a little bit, just going off this black screen here. Um, so let's wait for this bad boy to start up. Um, first thing that I heard as soon as that it went from the uh, setup screen to this is the fans. They immediately kicked on. You might be able to hear them right here. Um, so that's the first initial impression from turning it on. Um, I don't know how loud they're going to be or if they get louder than this when you game, but um, that's just the initial um, also this this trackpad here is very good um it, it not only is it very you know accurate to the movement but there's a very satisfying um feedback that it gives you when you click it just feels great it feels like you're uh, pushing like hard pressing and it's the tactile feedback that you get from it is very satisfying now the 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 
keyboard also feels great. Uh, the travel on them, 1.5 millimeter, I believe, uh, just it, they, they feel great to type on. It's just a very nice typing experience. I don't know how it's going to re relate to when it comes down to gaming, but um, in terms of typing, when I was, you know, typing stuff around in here, it just it feels great. So this keyboard so far, so good. Um, very nice. Um, I'll show you guys the sticker that's on here, some of the specs. This is the $1,800 um, dollar from Best Buy model. It is very big battery in here and per key RGB, Thunderbolt, important stuff here. You know, one of the nice things about opting out and not getting the super is that, you know, maybe it's gonna not, it won't need as much cooling down. Plus the battery might last a little longer. And if anything, you got a Thunderbolt. So I guess if you wanted to connect an external GPU, you'll be fine. Um, in most computers in this price point and this great built like a Razer, you're not going to get this one terabyte NVMe. You'll get 512. You're, you're going to end up paying an extra $500 for this similar spec model. So um, this has a very, very close feel to the feel of a Razer blade. If you guys have any questions, please let me know whether it's about more about the G14 that I returned or about this computer. I, like I said, I just unboxed it for you guys. I'm gonna play Warzone on here. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, if you guys bought it yourself and wanna give me out some tips, um, feel free to ask. But, you know, I'm looking forward to this because of the, the, the build quality and it's just a very nice looking computer. I might be keeping this one. We'll see how it comes down to. I, the cons that I've heard of is just the heating and the fingerprint magnet. So um, along with the fans, it's got bad speakers. <laughs> when Cortana started talking, the speakers are not good. I can tell you that right away, but either, then, either way when I game, I'm going to be on my uh, Corsair HS. 70 i think these are the 70 wireless they're they're very good um for the price they're not they're not premium but they're very nice and premium feeling uh, they sound great no rgb but it's <coughs> it's okay and i did get a new mouse though <clears throat> i uh, actually got the um g502 wireless light speed I'm um, looking forward to giving it a try. My first gaming mouse when I started playing on computer was the Corded G502. So this one was on sale at Best Buy for $119. It was $30 off. Um, so I'm definitely looking forward to reacquainting myself with this mouse. Obviously, it's a little heavier than what I'm used to now. The Model D and the Model Low that I've played on, the Ninja Final Mouse Ultra Lite. Those have all been very good mice, but they're also a lot lightweight, a lot more lightweight than this mouse. So I hope that this isn't something that's going to, you know, be too heavy and I'm not going to want it anymore. Um, but the extra buttons might help. I don't, I don't know. Um, but I'm going to give it a try and see what I think. But other than that, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.